Hello everybody, welcome to the second episode of Peculiar with me, Akin. So for this episode, I'll be using Slowman Mortovich, aka Slomo, as a base. He's from the student disembodied council pack. Slomo has blue-gray skin tone that makes him look really pale, and I thought, what else is pale? Vampires. So we're going to make a vampire out of him. Turning a zombie into a vampire. Very innovative and groundbreaking, Akin. Alright, so let's start by cutting off his hair. Submerge the head in hot water. Pop it off the body. Scrape the excess hair from the inside. Still no gunks of glue to be found. Why? I want to fully reroot him so I poke new holes on his head, following the outline of the flocking as a guide. Get rid of the factory face using pure acetone, yada yada yada, you know the drill. To get rid of the flocking, soak it with pure acetone and scrape it off using tweezers or whatever. It's actually easy. Clean the whole head using wet wipes to make sure the sealant can be applied properly later. I'm giving him widow speak, so again, I'm poking new holes for that. And then I color code his hair. I want him to have black hair with a white streak. Very Sweeney Todd. I reroute the hair accordingly. Once the head is full of hair, glue it from the inside so it won't come off. Spray the hair with water and I tame and trim it. Once you're happy with the style, wrap it with cling wrap to make the hair lay flat. Make small slits on the cling wrap for air circulation to allow the hair to dry. I don't think you'll be able to get this with like nylon doll hair. Except you use gel or something, but that would be disgusting. Face up time. You know how it goes. Protect the hair. Give the face 3 layers of MSC. Initial blushing using soft pastels. Here I'm following the gray hue of the skin tone instead of the blue one, so I'm using darker gray soft pastels to blush the face. Once I'm happy with the initial blushing, I spray it again with MSC and then mapping the eyebrows with black pastel. You can carve things around with a kneaded eraser. Then I do the lips, still on the same layer as the initial eyebrows. After spraying it again with MSC to save the progress, I start sketching on the eyes. Spray it again, I fill in the colors. I'm giving him red eyes because he's a vampire. Do vampires really have red eyes or is it just a depiction? Wait, vampires aren't even real, what am I talking about? I add hair strokes to the eyebrows. And other details like the eyelids, the eye lines, the lip line, and the pupils. Dot on the highlights of the eyes and seal it with the final layer of Mr. Super Clear. And the face is finished. He's one of the very few of my dolls that don't have facial hair. And he still looks like his kind. I really gotta work on the facial expressions. Overall, I think I did an okay job. For the body, I do nothing special. I spray it with two layers of Tamiya Color TS80 and I blush it. That's all.
when you're done with the body blushing, spray it again with one layer of TS80 and like three coats of watered down matte varnish and you're good to go. Pop the head back onto the body. I want to make the hair even flatter so I'm going to wrap the head once again. For his clothes, I made him a white shirt. For in-depth explanation about making doll shirt, watch my Woody and Bo Peep video. Also, I find it difficult to find white cotton fabric that's easy to work with because most of them are slippery or too thin. A simple pair of black pants with pockets. And a stripe vest that's giving me Jack Skellington vibe. I glued on two buttons on it to hide the stitches in the front. For the shoes, I'm using Alistair Wonderland shoes. I repaint them black. Paint the details white. Then protect the paint job with two coats of watered down matte varnish. Let's see how the hair turns out. It turned out fine. And with that, we call it a doll. At first, I was going to name him Alistair, but that's already a character, so I asked my friend for suggestions. He suggested the name Eric from the word vampiric, and I was like, okay. Originally, I was going to make him a red vest and a black jacket, but that would be too much work for me, so no. Also, I didn't even remember I got that stripe fabric and I thought it suited his character, so I used it instead. Now that I put the clothes on him, he looks more like a saloon bartender than a classic vampire. You know what? He could be that. He could be a saloon bartender who happens to be a vampire. He's a low-class vampire. How about you guys help me with the backstories of every character in this series? I think that would be fun. This is a rather simple repaint and the video is pretty short, so sorry about that. I intentionally made it this way because the third episode will be a pretty big deal. If you want to know what it is, stay tuned, like and subscribe if you want to, bye!